Hello and welcome to the Law of Money. Joining me today is Surya Bhatia, well-known certified financial planner, and we are going to talk about, well, money. One of the other category of schemes which is especially recommended a lot by planners like you for beginners is a balanced fund. Uh, what does that mean? See, as the name says again, that's a good part. I think Sebi has done categorization of names very good, and the name can say everything. So, balanced fund typically is equity and debt put together, hence balanced. So, but the current income tax mandate says 65% equity, 35% debt qualifies for a tax status similar to an equity, which means more than one year tax free. So, hence, balanced fund is 65% minimum equity, 35% debt. Hence, the answer of recommending to a startup guy, a fresher, is that because little less risk, protection of capital to a certain extent, but still carries a tax-free status, start with this, understand the markets, and once you have grown more mature, then go to the large, multi, mid, and small. Do you believe that balanced funds have given fairly decent returns because they tend to balance out the risks in equity to some extent on that 35% portfolio which is in debt? So if you were to look at a pure return comparison over say the last five years, have balanced funds somewhere been close to say diversified equity funds when it comes Absolutely, to Absolutely, because in some time when you have a, we have a, a beer run in the market and the 35% of debt component starts protecting you, so you look at a five year average, I think they hold very strong when they start comparing to, especially more to a large cap fund, because that's what I will compare with, vis-a-vis -vis not comparing with a multi-cap or a diversified fund, and they actually hold their fort very well.